what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video i'm going to be talking about some things that jamie kennedy recently had to say uh regarding his character's demise uh, we all know jamie kennedy is responsible for the fan favorite character of randy meeks who was in the first first three screen films he died in the second movie of course uh he had some things to say during a recent sit down that he had with uh the cheat sheet showbiz cheat sheet to promote his upcoming uh stand-up special on 2b it's coming out i believe it came out today actually uh on the 25th of may which is today he had some interesting tidbits to share in regards to his character's legacy uh the fact that he is very understanding of why uh the character of randy died and also he I, I feel like what he basically had to say here, what I took away from this is that he feel like his character served its purpose and the character had a good run. The, those are some things he had to say briefly and he's satisfied with how things how things turned out. Not to say that he would never get back in the character's shoes, but I feel like he's fine with keeping the character dead. Uh, so I'm going to get into some things that they talked about. Uh, he basically, for the most part, was saying how excited he is about the upcoming project and how excited he is that a lot of people... Uh, a new generation rather is going to be experiencing the Scream series and they get to be a part of uh, Scream 5. They're going to get to see Scream 5 hopefully in theaters when everything is back to the way it should be uh, or when we figure out what, what our new normal is going to be. Um, he basically shared tidbits and talked about how he's uh, into the into the horror genre and everything that's going on with it today from the Jordan Peels uh, to the Jason Blums, A24. He talked about Hereditary and The Witch um i'm gonna go over uh, one of the one of the quotes they have here from it um he said horrors horrors in an incredible in an incredible place um between jordan pill and jason blum the a24 and hereditary and the witch there's just all different types of horror james wan it's really evolved into this wonderful place psycho psychological with a lot of levels to it it's taken what scream had done scream was meta and now it's gone even more now what caught me by surprise was how he did say that um he feels that with screen five they're gonna get a, a he hopes that they they basically give us the same feel of what we're used to but he thinks that it'll have some of today's new twist in it now what i'm getting from that is jamie kennedy's hoping that in screen five we have some type of psychological aspect to it some type of meta mixed with psychological mixed with uh, multiple meanings which I'm perfectly fine with I feel like scream in itself was has multiple meanings already uh, I don't think we need to go too far down the road of of a hereditary or midsummer or the witch for that matter all of which are good films I just don't really fancy us getting a heavy aspect of that from a screen film but I can understand what he's saying there's plenty of ways they can implement that in a way uh, and then he also basically went on to talk about the character of Randy because I know a lot of people are still upset that the character passed, passed or got killed off in Scream 2. Uh, he did have a brief cameo in Scream 3, of course, to tell us about the end of the ending trilogy rules when Scream, when Scream was once planned as a trilogy and Scream 3 was going to be the final chapter. They brought him back for Scream 3. Um, what, I want, what I want to talk about here from that is how he basically is is excited for the fact that his character not even as his as a character but him as an actor him being jamie kennedy he's excited to be an audience member for screen five um now i'm guessing that means he he is basically confirming all but confirming that he is not going to be participating in screen five we won't know officially who and will not be participating until we actually have an official casting announcement um, or until of course we get another news a set of news where we get confirmation that someone else has joined the cast like with david arquette but he's excited to be an audience member and be on the outside looking in for screen five he is looking forward to seeing courtney cox uh david arquette and nev campbell the surviving trio return um he, he just he just wanted to see this new adventure that the film takes them on so with that being with him talking about it like that i'm he's either keeping it a secret or he's at this point in the game i, I don't unless radio silence and spyglass media have instructed everybody to go around and potentially talk about screen five if asked but don't don't disclose your involvement until unless unless given permission or unless it comes from us directly um so he's either teasing or this is all this is all the confirmation that we are not going to be seeing Jamie Kennedy or the character of Randy Meeks in screen five. So 
for all those people who are wanting him to be alive and having faked his death it doesn't sound like we'll be getting that me personally randy faking his death and then showing up all these years later again no it's i i love the character of randy i love it i love that character character if they were able to bring him back somehow of course bring him back but again not all of these characters need to need to be alive to be brought back you we we seen randy come back in scream 3 perfectly fine I, I feel like the only thing you could do with any of these characters at this point is just have sydney have hallucinations of them all being together in their middle ages and things like that a nice little scene where we have uh nev campbell playing sydney prescott and she's reminiscing and she's imagining what her life would have been if none of her friends had been killed and billy loomis wasn't a crazed killer she's imagining herself in modern times with uh, a modern middle-aged skeet ulrich who can play billy loomis again of course in that hallucination jamie kennedy's back as randy uh rose mcgowan can appear as tatum matthew lillard back as Stu. that's the farthest thing i think we'll get to having any of these characters back at this point uh i never really was a big fan of that he faked his death thing i know when that theory was going around though jamie kennedy actually was a fan of it not to say and what i what i don't what i want to bring up is the fact that him being a fan of it doesn't mean that okay let's make this happen uh, okay yeah this is this is something that definitely needs to happen in one of the movies he's probably just a fan of the theory in itself like how i'm a fan of um Stu mocker being alive and being one of the ghost faces in an upcoming film now i'm a fan of it but at the end of the day is that really going to be something that needs to happen will it make a lot of sense will it be something that is even going to be worthwhile is it something we should even venture into at this stage of the game no uh anyone who's dead right now do not bring them back and if you're going to bring them back bring them back in a way that honors the character and it's just something it's going to have to be done in an hallucination type of way i'm pretty sure randy doesn't have any more tapes lying around i'm pretty sure during the production of scream 3 they didn't film extra tapes just in case they decided to come back down the road and, and make a scream 4 5 and 6 because again scream was planned as a trilogy um but when he was speaking about the character of, of randy he basically had this to say he said i'm dead so i think it's great uh, I know all the people involved. They're like an extended family. I think it's great. Uh, it'll be interesting to see. I think it's awesome that it that it will keep going for sure. Um, and then also, let's talk about that bit. He says he knows all the people involved. Now, I'm assuming he's talking about Nev, David, and Courtney. Or just those three in general. I don't believe he's getting into the fact that he knows who's involved with Scream 5. Um, but... If he is, he might have also just let le loosely let us know that the movie is going to be moving forward and be a continuation from Scream 4. Um, and then also getting into the fact that he doesn't regret the character of Randy dying. Um, because that was one of the biggest surprises. And I've made mention of this for quite some time. This, this, The film series itself, Scream hasn't taken any risk, in my honest opinion, since randy's death they've they've teased that they were going to take risk in scream 3 they didn't kill off one of the main three they didn't take any risk really in scream 3 the only risk they took was becoming uh a convoluted story that loops itself back into the whole the whole original film which is fine because it's not that convoluted it, it makes sense but still we, we know that wasn't the original intent we know roman wasn't always the plan uh when speaking about the character of randy some more kennedy said this he said look i had a good run it was a good run people really love my character i think the fans there's not a day that goes by where i'm in public where i don't run into somebody where they just say you yeah, hey man randy you sh randy should have never been killed and, and he believes their voice their voice was silenced when i was killed because um the voice of the characters because randy was the voice of the characters of the audience um the audience lived through that character they lived through randy and as many of us know i feel like a lot of us agree with that randy spoke for us randy was the audience he was our mouthpiece he was everybody in that theater in 1996 combined into one person um he said when asked if he regrets it well actually i don't even think he was asked but he said do i regret it no that's what makes scream great because you kill people off that you love and you care about then you don't know what the next one is that will keep you on your toes so they keep killing off important figures or characters that's what keep the series so vibrant now that's an important bit right there that's what keeps the series so vibrant the series itself has not in that regard the series has not been keeping itself vibrant that way we have not scream has been playing it safe 
the, the series itself has been playing it safe since Scream 2. Glimpses of Sydney dying have just been teased. Sydney herself, the character, does not need to die. Um, but one of the main three need to go. It needs to be either Dewey or Gale. One of them needs to go. At this point, we need to take risks. Nobody's going to be accepting Sydney dying. Sydney's the heart and soul of the franchise. Sydney dying isn't going to be accepted if, until a, until the last movie, if she's even around by then, uh, or if they even get to make a, a last movie. Assuming Screen Five isn't intended to be the final film, nobody's going to going to want to see Sydney die. We have to take risks somehow. We have to kill Dewey or Gale. Uh, Jamie Kennedy speaking on this and recognizing that is something that. I now feel confident in my uh, statements when I in my same sentiments when I say that the Scream series hasn't taken any risk since Randy died. They have not. They've just been playing it safe. Uh, one of the main three needs to die. It's time. One of them has to go. We all love these characters. It's not a matter of us wanting them to go. It's a matter of taking risk and recognizing that, hey, we can honor the past, making them a part of the present while building towards the future either Dewey or Gale one of them needs to go with I can I, I I very much appreciate what Jamie Kennedy had to say in that last bit of that interview because it speaks to me in such a massive way the it's not a matter of us not liking these characters and thinking that oh if they die it's not going to be up it's not going to be something we'll miss we're going to miss that character it's a simple fact of us taking risk and doing doing something that is different doing something that is going to be respectable to the character if we're going to kill them off we're not just going to kill them off and then not bring them up again they're still going to be very much a part of this they they're always going to be a part of scream dewey and gale and sydney are always going to be scream but dewey or gale in my opinion it's time for one of these one of our main three need to go they need to go uh, we've been with them for a long period of time over 20 years we've seen them go through some of course four four different ghost race killing sprees at this stage in the game and it's time for one of them to just get gutted and be gone um that's my honest opinion on it. it's not a matter of us not loving these characters that we want some of us want them to go in in the weirdest way i know some or i already hear the people in the comment section we want them to go because we love them they're growing tired some of them are growing tired the, the running gag of them constantly living through this is growing tired we need to uh keep keep a couple of them around in my in my personal opinion i'd keep around gail gail and uh Gale and Dewey at this point not Gale and Dewey I mean Sydney and Dewey uh Gale can die and then just just build up into a Scream 6 with a fresh new set of supporting characters some of which can return from Scream 5 um in the series rightfully do something risky in the final stages of this series but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment, se comment section below what do you think about Jamie Kennedy's comments on this if you haven't if you haven't already make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description I'll have links on my social media accounts on my Facebook Twitter and Instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys I will see you in the next video